Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me because I have a lot of exciting products to try together with you and I'm having my first morning coffee so my day always starts beautifully when I share it with you. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you love luxury beauty, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. If you're returning, welcome back dear friends. I'm so happy that you could join me. I'm always so happy when you click on my videos because this means that you want to spend some time with me and I always feel very honored. So anyways, before I start with the makeup, I have some updates that I wanted to give you on products that I've used recently. And um, you probably know, some of you probably know if you've been following me, that I recently came back from south of France. While I was in south of France, I usually purchase a lot of um, French pharmacy skincare, like France is one of the countries where you must buy some French pharmacy skincare and I usually use a lot of French pharmacy skincare. Anyways, um, so I'm still a little bit sleepy, but I wanted to mention this serum from Uriage. This one is specifically for people who have sensitive skin like myself and I always, I have very sensitive skin and I find that usually in the springtime my skin becomes even more sensitive probably because we have more sunshine. I take very good care of my skin, but I noticed that recently I've had some redness, um, some little minor bumps here, a couple of bumps that I'm not happy about. I decided to try this serum from Uriash and it is absolutely stunning. It's a, a wonderful product. Nobody talks about Uriash, but I just wanted to give it a shout out because I believe that this is one of the brands that doesn't receive enough love. And um, I don't see actually many people talking about this brand, but I love, I have some products that I love and this serum in particular is absolutely gorgeous. It's basically like a booster for the skin. It helps to repair the skin, it helps to calm all that redness. So if you have sensitive skin like myself, maybe give it a try. Uh, the texture of this serum is the most dreamy, the most incredible texture. It basically disappears into the skin as if you applied water to your skin. So it's liquidy serum completely transparent when you rub it in the skin it takes a few seconds to disappear completely and i have been using it actually before my regular serum just like a booster or sometimes i use it alone and i apply a moisturizer on top but i find that it really helps to calm the redness and those little bumps that i had here a couple of bumps on my skin i find that it really helped to calm everything it's a brilliant product, way to go Uriage. I purchased two new products from YSL. Both of the products are from the new line. So the new line from YSL, I'm trying it for the first time. I love YSL makeup. And this new line is actually like somewhere in between skincare and makeup. So it's supposed to also have some skincare benefits um, for the skin. And I purchased the Bare Look Tint. So this is like a tinted moisturizer that has some skincare properties. I'm going to be trying this for the first time. I was very curious because I'm a huge fan of YSL skincare and I have chosen the shade New One. So here is how it comes. I like the packaging because even though it's not a pump, this kind of packaging is actually very good for foundations because let me squeeze out a little bit of product. I squeezed out yesterday just to test it on my arm and it looks like a sheer tinted moisturizer that I believe is going to give a glowy finish on the skin. So I made sure to adjust my skincare so that I don't have, my skin is not oily right now. And let's go ahead and try this. It looks like the shade is going to match my skin tone perfectly. I'm just going to start with that much and we are going to see I believe it's going to be a very sheer product. I'm using my favorite Clay de Peau foundation brush. This is my current favorite foundation brush. Initially, it might look a little bit paler than my face, but then you can probably see that my neck and decollete are a shade paler than my face. And that's because I always cover my neck and decollete. I have some moles that I don't want to expose to sunlight. It feels very pleasant, it has a light scent, it applies very quickly on the skin. 
and it's definitely a very, very sheer product. I think that it even out my skin tone well and it matches my neck, which is something that I'm always aiming for. Okay, so this is how it looks. I would say that this is a very, very sheer product. It gives a little bit of glow. Uh, well, it definitely gives a glowy finish, but it's a very, very sheer product. Now, I, looking at the consistency, I believe that you can apply this with fingers as well, but only if your skin is smooth enough. Um, otherwise, I would suggest, well, I'm actually... I'm actually addicted to this brush from Clay Depot. It's the best foundation brush that I have ever tried, ever used. It makes all products look so much better. But anyways, I tried, um, I wouldn't actually apply this with fingertips, even though it's a tinted moisturizer, just because the texture is a little bit creamy. Probably I would apply this with fingers only if my skin is in a very good condition, which at the moment it's not. And if it's completely, absolutely smooth, then I'm going to be applying this with fingers. Other than that, I think a brush is going to apply the product better. I don't see that it doesn't emphasize my pores. It just looks like skin, uh, very well moisturized skin, and it's quite glowy. Now, I was expecting the, the glow because I swatched it yesterday, and that's why I decided to adjust my skincare this morning. I just used the um, Uriash serum, and then I used... La Roche-Posay moisturizer. Both are very light and that's why my skin right now has this beautiful glow, but definitely it doesn't cover any redness that I have here. You can see I have a little mark here. I have one little redness here. It doesn't cover really. Apply a little bit of lip balm. This one is my favorite. I would highly, highly recommend this lip balm from Guerlain. It is absolutely stunning. This one, this is one of the new B lip balms and it's Fuchsia Glow. It's my favorite. Well, for sure, I'm going to see how this product is going to perform throughout the day. But for now, I have to say that I adore this beautiful, healthy glow that it gives to my skin. Just once again, like if you have oily skin, you have to adjust your skincare routine because this is a tinted moisturizer. So it's supposed to moisturize your skin. If you have dry skin, I believe that you're going to be very comfortable. You're going to feel very comfortable with this product. I think that it's a beautiful product. I think that it looks very natural and I don't mind that it didn't cover everything. It just looks like skin. We're all humans, so we have skin. It Literally, this product feels like nothing on the skin, so that's why I'm happy. But I feel like I need to add something additional under my eyes. So I'm going to be using my Le Beige Eau de Tente. I have it in the shade Light, which is paler than my skin tone right now. But I'm just going to use it. I'm going to dot it here under my eyes because this is a water-based product and I like to use it like a concealer because it never gets cakey under the eyes since it is a water-based product and it's good to use something additionally moisturizing under the eyes. Now moving on to cheeks and I decided to choose the peachy shade here. This is a product that can be used for lips and cheeks. I'm probably going to wipe my Guerlain lip balm so that we can try this on my lips as well. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit here. I love the color. Let's see. I love the color. It's this wonderful peachy color. Now, I believe that this one might be a little bit too glossy for me in the summertime. So I suppose that it's going to be nice like a lip gloss. Let's see how this is going to look. Actually, it is very glossy. Okay, let me go ahead and show you. The consistency is very glossy. It's basically like a lip gloss. So I suppose that this one is going to be very comfortable for those of you who have dry skin. For me, it's, I'm not sure if it's going to be nice in the summer season. I'm taking my refer brush because I just want to tap this here on my cheeks. It looks very fresh, but I would say that you're mostly going to appreciate this if you have dry skin. It gives like a glossy finish on the cheeks. 
really transparent, lovely. I believe that if you have dry skin, you're going to fall in love with this one. You can even use it alone, I believe, without foundation. I love the color. Now I'm gonna tell you, I love, love, love the color that I've chosen. It's such a lovely peachy shade. Now moving on to brows, I'm going to be using my Floris's brow pencil. This is a powder brow pencil and I'm just going to lightly fill in my brows and then set them. Then I'm going to be using the Sigma brow wax which I have been loving because it's so easy to use. It's very effortless. You can literally use it on the go. I love this product. And then brush my brows and that's it. So please let me know if you have already tried these products. It's going to be very important for our whole community because I'm testing them for the first time, but I really like the fresh, youthful glow that they give to they gave to my face. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Chanel loose powder just on the center of my face because all of the products that I used are very glowy and I don't want to get shiny. Um, I don't want to get oily throughout the day because I have combination skin, so I'm just going to lightly tap some powder here. Now moving on to this gorgeous Guerlain bronzer, I almost feel sorry that I have to dip my brush here. So the wings of the bee are actually over spray, so this is not highlighter, but then the pink in the middle, where is the body of the bee, is actually a blush. So I'm going to try and get a little bit of the blush so that I can apply on top of this one, on top of the ISL, YSL blush. It's quite hard to get this one, but if you are committed like me, I suppose that you can. It's wonderful. So lovely. Okay, so this is the blush and then I'm going to go ahead and try the bronzer as well. I'm using this smaller brush because I don't want to ruin the patterns. Just want to keep it as much as I can. Okay, so for the lips, I have to say that it feels quite comfortable on the lips. It um, feels like a lip balm. It's not way too oily, but it's moisturizing enough so that I would feel comfortable to wear this on my lips. Of course, I prefer, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not going to be wearing this on my lips just because of the fact that I have to apply it with a brush. And I prefer to apply this with a stick. I prefer to apply products on my lips with a stick. It's just uh, much faster for me, but I think that for the cheeks, it just gave, gave such a healthy looking glow on the cheeks. And I think that someone with um, dry skin is really going to appreciate it. I'm also going to be wearing it, not specifically in the summer months because my skin tends to get oily, but overall, I really like the healthy looking glow that it gives to my cheeks and I'm actually going to be getting this. It's very easy just to put this in your handbag and add a bit of color in case throughout the day just to refresh the makeup. I think these two are very, very nice products. Now moving on to my eye makeup, I want to keep things very simple. That's why I'm going to be using Firefly, the shade that's here. I am going to be using this color all over my eyelid and I'm actually going to tap with my finger here. And then I'm going to use a brush because I want a very quick, very effortless makeup look. So this palette is actually from Sigma. I Did I mention this is the Ambience palette from Sigma and I really, really like all of the neutral colors here. I find that I reach for this palette quite often and there are so many colors here that can be used as one and done eye color. That's why I always gravitate towards this palette a lot. 
It's uh, my first palette from Sigma. I loved it so much that I purchased another one. So this one was sent to me from Sigma and then I purchased another one because I love the quality. I'm going to pop a photo here of the palette that I purchased because I believe that it's going to look beautiful on me. Next I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to be back for the lipstick. Okay, so this is with the mascara on and for my lips I want to be using one of my favorite Dior lipsticks. This one is Beige Oblique. It's very easy to wear. I believe that this one is going to suit so many different skin tones and it's very easy to wear. It's a perfect everyday color, beige everyday color. I'm going to be applying this straight on top of the lip product. Okay, so I think that this is going to be the finished look. I also wanted to give you some updates on a couple of nail polishes, a couple of nail products, but before that, let's just take a closer look at um, the whole look. I think that it's very pretty and overall, I have to say that I like very much. For now, I really enjoy the new YSL products. I think that they give such a fresh, beautiful complexion. The tinted Le Balm is definitely has very, very light, very sheer coverage, but that's absolutely fine for me. We are humans and I don't mind when my skin shows through. I don't mind when people see a little bit some marks or pigmentations. It just looks very realistic and it's not camera friendly, but for every day, I think that it's a very beautiful product that everyone who has normal to dry skin is going to appreciate, especially those of you who have normal to, com normal to dry skin or dry skin or dehydrated skin. I think you're going to appreciate these products a lot. I'm going to give you updates, of course, because this is the very first time that I'm using the products. I think that this makeup look is quite simple and it matches very nice my top which is from Mome Silk. I believe that they currently have a sale. I'm going to have a link in the description box but I really like it. It's this lovely beige color and moving on to the nail products that I wanted to share with you. So I recently purchased the a new nail base from Chanel. I believe this one is a new one because it's called the Chameleon Nail Base. I always do my nails at home and I always use a nail base. I didn't have one now, so that's why I purchased. I'm going to give you a review. I believe that this is a new one. Let me know in the comment section below if you've already tried this one. But my previous one was just a nail base from Chanel. It was not Camellia. So I'm going to see what is the difference. I'm going to update you in one of my next videos because I need to do my nails now. And I want to give a shout out to a very good nail polish. I have been wearing the new Dior Riviera nail polish in my recent videos. And a lot of you guys have been asking me what I have on my nails. Well, in my latest videos, I'm wearing this nail polish only. And I have used it only once. I wore this nail polish for 13 days, believe it or not. I'm going to insert now a quick a video of my nails after on day 13 of wearing this nail polish and I have to say that until day 7 my nails looked very nice. I decided to purchase this nail polish first because I love the color. I think that it's a very beautiful color for the summer season. Second of all, I heard that you were actually improved their nail pol the formulation of the nail polishes and they really did. They really improved it because with my previous Dior nail polishes, they would last approximately for three to four days, depending on how much um, hand sanitizer I use on my hands. But when I was wearing this nail polish, I went on a short vacation. So I was swimming. I was using a lot of hand sanitizer that contains alcohol. So I'm not being gentle. I like to take very hot showers. I like to take very hot baths. So I've tested this one properly and they really improved the formulation. I didn't use any base so because I didn't have one. And that's why I was using only the nail polish. I was very impressed with the performance. One last thing, I am not doing my hair in the past couple of days. I just am going to do a messy bun right now because I'm taking a break from all the heat in my hair and I'm taking a break also from all kinds of styling products. I believe that it's good to do this from time to time. I know that my hair looks a little bit unruly now, but I'm going to do a messy bun and it's going to be just fine. Just wanted to say that. And yes, thank you so much for joining me and for spending time with me. It means so much to me. Have a beautiful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.